We're back here. We're getting ready to refresh this garden and get it ready for the spring 2023. We'll be checking in on those fruit trees in the back, doing some pruning, filling up these beds and planting some plants. Filling up the Check beds with the compost and the pine bark vines, getting ready to top off all the beds. It's time to start planting in the garden. We got soil has been conditioned. We got water, we got sunshine, we got everything that we need. So we're grateful to be working again with Layla Ali. All hail the champion for where you are. As you can see, we're making good progress. We got garden is planted. Some seed starting is happening. Got plenty of plants in the ground. Garden beds topped off, ready to really see what happens for 2023. In spring, we're at the Conway Ali Home Garden. It's an honor to work on this space here and get this space going. These are the fruit trees that we planted in 2022 some peach trees they are leafing out wonderfully and as you can see unexpectedly there's a fruit on this tree that we didn't expect to see this year where is it there's a fruit there's a fruit it may or may not stay on but that's okay we got peach tree over there apple tree plum the garden is being planted for the spring 2023 as you know winter was hard we got lost a lot of plants during the winter basically everybody lost plants during the winter some plants in the beds some plants in pots seeds being started here it's all happening we are grateful to be here at the Conway Layla Ali home garden as you can see it was established in 2022 onions popping strawberries popping blueberries popping grapes got grapes on them we'll take a look closer in a moment yeah, as you can see we got strawberry fruits just beginning so these strawberries have been in they weathered through the winter time the beds are prepped we did compost and pine bark finds in these barrels here there's potatoes and look at what happened with these grapes and if you see they're already starting to make some fruits so we didn't pr prune these this much this year because when we got here they were already fruiting out but it's uh something to be happy about we came with uh compost and pine bark vines and plants we loaded up we cleaned out what we could from the previous season planted everything got it in the ground we did some seed direct seeds also we did plenty of transplants a lot of the transplants came from our love is love collective farm we love that and garland's garden so they found a nice place here at the conway Layla ali home garden we are so grateful to be having wonderful clients like this and we look forward to continuing to serve people who want to learn how to grow their own food so we are here with Layla Ali at the Conway Ali Home Garden. Yeah. So Layla, what inspired you to grow your own food? Well, um, I want to be independent, you know, for the most part. Um, there's so much going on in the world right now that, um, you know, makes you feel insecure having to depend on getting your food at the grocery store and all that. And then just the pride it takes in actually growing for yourself knowing exactly what's in my food mm -hmm. putting nutrients in my food through the soil um you know it's just it just it feels good to be able to do also aside from all that other stuff but i think it's a necessity right now mm. i think that with all of this space and land that i have why not grow food we're, pl we're planting flowers and trees and where's the food right that's how it used to be back in the day right Absolutely. and it just it just makes sense to and how many people are you feeding with this garden so i have four people in my family including myself and this is a very large garden, right? I started because luckily I had you all to help me because I know what the heck I was doing to start and I'm learning. But you don't need this much space. I see people who live in apartments and do it on their patios. You know, I have some of these barrels back here. I have buckets. There's so many different ways to grow. There's grow towers. What's it called? Hydroponics. I mean, there's so many different ways and you can start small. You know, so it, it seems intimidating at first but once you get into it i mean you just grow to love it oh so somebody calls you your girlfriend calls you hey i see what you did on instagram i'm thinking about growing food 
what is the biggest challenge or the biggest surprise that you want them to be prepared for? What would you say to them? I think the biggest challenge is just getting started. You know, it's just like you keep thinking about it, wanting to do it, you gotta just start. And, um, you know, I think it really, you, you, grow, you grow and you learn as you go. You're gonna make mistakes along the way, everyone does. If you can surround yourself with people who have some experience, that's always helpful. There's books, there's videos. I mean, you can go on YouTube and learn how to do things. I think for me, what was surprising was just how everything just started growing. It was just so beautiful. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And then, oh yeah, I gotta harvest it, you know? And what about travel? For a person like you, a woman that's busy, professional, you go in and out of town, you travel, how, how to handle it? Well, you definitely, for me, I had to have a support system. So if I'm out of town, then I need my husband to, to cause at first I didn't have water in my garden. Right. And we were just doing everything by hand, which was great because I got to come out here every day. I had to right. see what was going on. Um, but, you know, you can set up a water system. It just really depends, you know? Like I said, you can go get what you need right at your local Home Depot. It just, it really depends on every different situation. That's why you should start with what's gonna work for you and don't overdo it. You can always add more, take away. You know, it's a learning process. So you're from California. You're here in Georgia. Weather-wise, what's the surprise? Oh my God, well, you know, like everyone loves California because of the weather mm. and I'm, you know, I live in California all my life, mm. but I actually love the change of the seasons. I really have um, so much love for the nature, just seeing the leaves fall, mm. seeing them come back. You really appreciate it more because there's a, there's a time when everything's dormant. Right. And then when it comes back, you get that same joy and love and excitement. Like, oh yes, it's time to grow. And then, you know, when it's cold, you can still plant or you can take a break and get ready. So. Um, you know, I love it. I really love it. I love the rain. I love the clear air. I love all the greenery. I love the people. You know, I love the energy. Yeah, I love it here. Yay! I will never leave. Well, we love it. I will never go back to California. I hear I that. Say. I hear that. <laughs> Thank you for choosing us to help provide this service, and we're honored. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Yay! I mean, I'm saying, I told everyone to get started. I didn't want to get started without you. So I'm happy that I did, and now, like, I'm off and running. So. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Layla Ali Home Garden, you can see everything's getting been put in, beds are freshed and topped off, and we are planting and watering. Grateful for the time that we have spent out here and looking forward to seeing what the production is like this year. Grateful, super grateful, super excited. Y'all check us out um, on IG. It's the real Layla Ali and us grow where you are. Thank y'all.